from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson with a 10 News update. The man convicted of killing a Fallbrook family, then burying their bodies in the Mojave Desert, has been sentenced to death. The jury reached that decision Monday afternoon. Charles Merritt received the death penalty on three of his four convictions. Merritt was convicted of killing his business partner and his friend Joseph McStay, along with his wife and their two young children. Police have identified the woman killed in a drive-by shooting in La Jolla over the weekend. Witnesses say that Nina Silver was at a house party when someone drove by and opened fire. Silver was hit and killed. Three other people were also injured by gunshots. Her family says they were told it might have had something to do with an argument from earlier that night, but they don't know anything else. Right now, police don't have a suspect description. And the California legislature has voted to tax people who refuse to buy health insurance. The so-called individual mandate was eliminated nationwide by Republicans in Congress, but the bill passed Monday in Sacramento would bring it back to California. It now goes to Governor Gavin Newsom, who is expected to sign it. Meantime, a lot of clouds out there still as that June gloom continues. That's right. Another gloomy start to the day for tomorrow. Temperatures right around 67 at the coast, inland 74. It will get better by the end of the week if you want it to get a little bit warmer. Yeah, we're ready for that. A little sunshine and warmer. It's coming. All right, Angelica, <laughs> thank you. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Steve Atkinson.